everybody, Kevin here from Humble Craftworks. Welcome back to another episode of Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. That's me, and today we're gonna do a little experiment. <laughs> so if you remember me saying in that last video, I'm gonna do an experiment using tape and see if we can glue up just regular old boards with tape. That's what I'm gonna do today. Here's the pile of tape from the last uh, little eighth inch panels that we glued up. Like this is my new hat. It's the Tape God hat. Anyway. <laughs> So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try three different types of tape. So today we're gonna try a little bit of green tape. So this is Promax Blue, whatever the hell that is. Basically a uh, blue tape. And then we have this stuff, which they told me it was made by 3M. And then I got 10 rolls of it and it was uh, blacked out like this and probably came from Tijuana. And then we're gonna use strapping tape. And we're gonna start out today with this little tiny drawer front. So I've started a little tiny kitchen that needs a bunch of dug fur drawer fronts. So now I'm gonna try to glue those up today. So we're gonna start out small with the green tape and see if that works. And then we're gonna uh, work our way up to a little bit bigger with the blue tape. Then we're gonna try the strapping tape with this big Johnson right here. And the last piece of resistance, I'm gonna glue up these two inch wide piece of poplar boards and see if I can make that seam nice and tight. No clamps, no bar clamps, no nothing, just using tape to glue all this stuff up. So if you don't have uh, $20 for a little tiny clamp like this, and you have $5, you can go out and buy yourself some painter's tape, some green tape, or some strapping tape and uh, buy three of these for the price of this. All these boards I'm gonna glue up and all we're gonna use is a $5 uh, roll of tape. I don't know if I can glue them up or not, but I'm gonna find out. And if I can't, then I'm gonna go back and use these because this is a real job and uh, I'm just doing this real quick. Uh, it can be a short 10 minute video. Really? Famous last words. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna focus you down here so you can see that I'm not cheating anyway. And we're gonna start out with the green tape. Hopefully I have enough. Today we're gonna use Type Bond 3, the ultimate wood glue. I do love the smell of glue, it's amazing. We got a full bottle of Type On 3, the ultimate wood glue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this guy up. Enjoy the music. If you ever have problems when you're gluing up uh, panels like this and you have dry spots, it's probably because you only glued one side and didn't make sure the glue was covered on all sides. I've seen that on a lot of videos you watch and are like, oh, you gotta fill it with the uh, sawdust and glue. Look at the neat, neat trick I'm showing you. Didn't really need to, you just needed to glue both sides. All right, here we go. I don't think this stuff stretches very good. For tape to work really good, it has to be kind of stretchy. I'm gonna lock that down, we're gonna pull, oh, it kind of stretches, gonna pull that towards us. Uh, if you can see that, it's starting to uh, ooze out. And so far, it looks like it works pretty good. Okay, so before we flip it over, we're just gonna take a little bit of the glue off here. Just like before, we have to make sure that it doesn't fold upon itself. And we're just gonna wipe this down here like that. Look how much glue splooched out there. Look at that. The old finger job there, make sure it uh, feels totally flat. You can't even see that seam, can you? So I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours. And let's try the next one. This panel is about uh, 10 by 24, and we're gonna glue it up using blue tape. Let's see how this works. First, we gotta get some glue on the seam. Get the wiggle job right here, okay? Make sure it's all smooshed together. Here we go, will blue tape work? Got that down there, I'm gonna pull this towards me. That really stretches good. Did you see it stretch? That yeah, was pretty cool. We're just gonna use the same amount. I'm gonna try it this way this time. Go out here. Uh, and it doesn't work as good. Also, I'm gonna give it the finger here. Make sure that the uh, it's flush as we go along. The only problem with this is you can't really manipulate the wood like you can with a clamp on it. Burp, stretchy. And that looks pretty damn good. We have a little glue coming out, so we're just gonna wipe this down just a little bit so we don't spread <laughs> so we don't spread it everywhere like I just did. Ugh. Okay, here we go again. Start in the middle. Make sure that's all locked down. We're gonna pull that towards us. Whoop! There you go. Stretch is really good. And it feels fairly flat. And there it is. Feels pretty damn good. I can hold it, look, see, one-handed. Uh, yeah. And it's not popping loose. So this blue tape seems to work also as well. I'm gonna let that sit for 24 hours. Okay, so now we're gonna do this trapping tape. 
First, I have to uh, cut all these pieces and strip them down the middle because I'm going to make them skinnier because they really stretch when they're thin. And uh, I'll turn you back on once I get this figured out because uh, this is a pain in the butt. All of these have been planed and face jointed, so they should be fairly flat. Uh, the seam should be fairly good. Lock that now. That seemed to work out pretty good. These things are too damn long. There we go. Okay, we're gonna work our way out. Let's try pulling this time. So we're gonna lock that down there. Pull that, grabbing that, boom, like this. Look at all the glue coming out of there. Holy cow. Go over this way, try to go about halfway. The key is to make sure that's really locked down and that you can pull on it. And to make sure that stays locked down. Cause if it doesn't, it might just peel off all by itself. This is strapping tape and it was probably made in China somewhere, who knows? They said it was 3M, they lied. Hey, pull, oh. Sometimes they'll do that, they'll snap right off. There we go. Usually once they snap off like that, they're not good anymore. But we're gonna see what happens. Okay, there we go. Oh, it feels pretty damn good. Take our uh, beautiful putty knife that we use for everything, and we're gonna take some of the glue off here. That was a lot of glue. That was too much glue almost. And yes, you could have too much glue. You're gluing something up and it splooges all over the place. A ridiculous amount, you're just wasting glue because you're just gonna wipe it off anyway. But, uh, oh, see? See how that was? Popped it off. And then flip this over. We only have to go to uh, thicker pieces of tape. The uh, Doug fur is kind of oily compared to uh, poplar or cherry or anything like that. And it's just might have a hard time here. It sticks to your fingers and it won't stick to the wood. Garbage. Yeah, see, it's not even sticking. Great. See, it sticks to your fingers really well. Does it stick to the wood? Not that good. Okay, so the biggest problem with this tape that I'm finding now is it just doesn't stick to Doug Fur with a shit. Here's what we have so far. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, this side is kind of loose, and that's because these two little pieces on the outside are just spindly. So I'm going to try to add a full piece and see if I can actually get that to uh, stretch. It seems to be a little better. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Pull it towards me. Yeah, see? This tape does not stick where the sh**. All right, there you go. So if you're going to glue up normal boards, I would go with the full width. When I glued up all those little tiny eighth inch boards, this was perfect because it's super stretchy like that. But for something that's this heavy, this is probably a couple pounds. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. And there we go. We're going to let that sit for 24 hours. And we've got one more to do, which is going to be uh, a two inch piece of poplar. Uh, we got a big ass piece of poplar. They've been planed and face jointed. Let's see how that works with tape. When you buy stuff from Amazon, sometimes it's not real. They said this was tape. Look, none of this has glue on it. So you had some bogus thing on Amazon saying, buy 3M uh, strapping tape, 10 for uh, you know $15 or whatever it was. I'm like, cool. There's not any sticky crap on it whatsoever. Yeah, so you gotta beware when you buy stuff on Amazon. Sometimes the people are full of crap. Hey, that's why the damn thing wasn't sticking. Freaking glue's no good. Well, let's glue this up. This one, we're just gonna do the wiggle. Uh, we got the wiggle on there. We're just gonna put these together and wiggle them. Just like that. And uh, that should be sort of okay enough. I'm gonna try down here. I'm, I'm not even sure if this tape will even stick now. Oh yeah, it's not even sticking. We'll see how this goes. So I'm taping the back side. I'm gonna pull it across, use my fingers, and then I'm gonna rub it down the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna do one on the end. And over. Lock that into place. Flip this over. Start in the middle. Oh, see, it's not sticking. Here's another old roll that I've had around forever. Let's see how this one works. All right. <laughs> Look at that. All right, there we go. Piece of eight quarter. Strapping tape. Strapping tape. Glue the whole damn thing up. I didn't put a ton of glue on this one, so it's not splooging out like the other ones did. But uh, I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow when we take them all apart. 
You can glue up a piece of eight quarter with uh, strapping tape. No clamps needed. We use green tape, blue tape, and strapping tape to glue boards up. You don't need to go out and buy a thousand dollars worth of clamps or even five or ten clamps. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. But if you can afford tape, I mean everybody's got tape around somewhere. You could probably even use a <laughs> look. I have scotch tape. Should we try that? What? I don't know. Scotch tape sticks to wood. Hold on. Oh man, it's super squishy. We're gonna try scotch tape. Oh. You know, Grandma's got scotch tape in there for making Christmas presents from a long time ago, somewhere in there, and it's probably stronger than this stuff is now. So we're gonna glue up panels today using scotch tape. Really? Because, uh, just because. You never know what you're gonna get when you turn the damn uh, YouTube on and Mr. Kevin's on the damn YouTube. So you just... Put it together, give it the old wiggle. All right. <laughs> Never been done before on the YouTubes anywhere. Start in the middle first. Oh my God, pull. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're gonna go about every four inches maybe. The old, God, Lord, that just stretches like nobody's business. It doesn't have much elasticity. When you stretch it, it's kind of done. It's just, eh, that's it, done. That'll be the invisible tape. It's actually splooching the glue out. <laughs> uh, yeah, Zooks. Oh man, if this works, I'm just gonna leave it. You pull on the tape, it's like, uh, it's like, I guess it's like cellophane, because it probably is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. That one exploded. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. Grandma will be wondering where all her uh, Christmas wrapping tape is. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there it is. The seam is tight. Can you zoom in on that? That's insane. So you can even glue up boards with scotch tape. Now I don't know how I'm gonna get the scotch tape off, but we'll probably just sand it off, but there you go. Uh, nice tight seam. Look, I'll hold it on one side and it's still, Ooh. see, it's on there. So if you can't afford clamps and grandma's got some uh, scotch tape in her drawer, go steal it and glue yourself some boards up. It's fun. That seam looks good and it's nice and tight. And we're gonna let this sit and dry for 24 hours and we'll see what they look like tomorrow. All right, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Uh, here's the drawer front that we glued up with the green tape. There's the front, you can zoom in on that. There's the back. I didn't sand the back too well because uh, it's the back. Green tape worked. Green tape, very doable. I think the next one that we did was this one right here. So this was blue tape right here. Uh, that's what the face looks like with blue tape. And the blue tape worked really good. You can actually glue up a panel that's, you know, 24 by 10, just using tape. The next one we did was a skinny ass strapping tape, right? And here's that panel right here. Okay, there's the front, there's the back. And all I did was just belt sand these real quick and hit them with 150. So that's skinny ass strapping tape which didn't stick because that freaking roll of tape is garbage. Even that made it look like this. Here's that big piece of poplar that we glued up. I didn't sand the back so you can see it's actually uh, the one we did, not just a solid piece of wood. Uh, there it is. Look how, look how clean that is. That's just with strapping tape and that's it. Strapping tape. And our bonus, uh, never been done before on the YouTubes ever. We glued up this drawer front using scotch tape. Just scotch tape. And it was kind of a pain in the butt to get off. And if that fly comes around again, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it, oh, there it goes. Oh, I was so tempted just to hit it with this panel. And these are actual drawer parts that I'm gonna use for drawer fronts on the kitchen I'm building right now. You don't need a ton of clamps. If you wanna glue two pieces of wood together and you got a nice straight edge on there, uh, you could just use tape. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, I proved it, it can be done. You don't never need a clamp ever again in your entire life. Just use tape, it's cheaper. And this pile is right here <laughs> is what we use to glue up all those curved raised panels. So I glued up 60 panels with this pile of tape right here. This is actually just one roll of scotch tape. So don't let people tell you you can't do something. Try it and see if you can, because you never know. Uh, I was told, oh, I'm using tape's just a dumb idea. That will never work. And then I showed somebody, hey, I put miters together using tape. 
Uh, might as well try to glue up boards using tape. And when I started making all those little tiny curved raised panels, that's what I used, tape. And it worked out way better than trying to put a clamp on any skinny ass piece of wood. So just remember, if I could do it, you could do it. It's not a hard thing to do. And if you don't have the money for a million clamps, just go out and buy yourself some tape like this and glue up all the boards you want. Just takes a little bit of practice. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. You have an awesome day. Go outside and play. Hug somebody you love. Be safe out there, and I'll see you next time right here on Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. That's me, and uh, don't let your meatloaf. Don't let your meatloaf. That's what we used to say when I was a kid. <laughs> Subscribe now. And we're going to start out with... Oh yeah, we just won't put glue on half the roll. This is crap. Almost hit the dog. All right, here we go. You don't try it, you'll never know. That's what they told me with the kid when they put all that LSD in my orange juice. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. oh, gee. Oh. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Scotch tape. <laughs> yep.